it's so weird being in front of a camera again. I haven't filmed in so long. Um, I used to do YouTube videos like 10 years ago and then life happened and I grew up and I kind of stopped doing it. But lately I've been obsessed with showing my hauls um, in my Instagram stories and also I literally just sit on the couch on weekends and binge watch some of my favorite people um, thrift and show their thrift hauls. So my husband was like, well, why don't you just do YouTubes again since you're basically doing these super long Instagram stories every week. And I was like, yeah, that's actually not the worst idea. Um, so I have a ridiculously huge haul right now. Um, it's really random. I try to divide it up based on like each place. Um, so we'll see how we do. Uh, my birthday was October 22nd. So I took off, um, I think it was a Tuesday, so um, I kind of took a long weekend. I did Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So um, to sort of celebrate my birthday, we went to a flea market an hour away from us on Saturday, which we actually heard from a vendor. He had told us about it and said that we should go, like a fellow picker that we met. Um, so. We were super excited about going and then it turned out that there was a tropical storm so the whole way there it was pouring rain and then luckily it wasn't like crazy windy but needless to say it was pretty deserted um there was still some vendors there which is shocking because i'm pretty sure if i was a vendor um during a tropical storm i would be like nope and i would not be there but um i did end up getting a few things but i definitely need to go back because it was pretty much a dead zone. So I'll start there with some of the little things I got. So the first thing I got is just this little vintage um, sleigh. It's made in Japan and I really like vintage holiday stuff because it makes me feel like I'm not such a hoarder because I can just put it all away and then at the holidays bring it all back out again. Um, and then that way it's not just like more clutter that's all around the house. So I tend to sort of pick up holiday stuff throughout the year and um, it's okay. All right, so I got that. And then at one of the other vendors, I picked up a couple little things. So this is a little calendar. Um, it's pretty cool. You go like this and it changes the day or like the other way to make it. And then down here at the bottom, you screw it. And then that changes the day, month whatever. I don't know. But I thought it was really cool. I've seen other people with those before um, and I've never actually found one. So I was super excited to get that at the flea market for super cheap. Um, same thing goes with this little globe bank. Um, it literally just says globe bank on it. Um, it's tin and I just thought that was super, super cute. So I paid $5 for this and then this one was three, I think. And then this guy was Five as well I believe or four something like that um, then I just picked up this little tin um, I thought this would be cute for like I don't know like Thanksgiving I kind of like to do a like a lot of Native American stuff I don't know if that's weird but um, I don't know I've seen other people decorate with old tins and I just really like oh, no, a couple more things couple. the last thing I got at the flea market was this vintage um, I guess it's like a embroidery. So it says um, it's their world too, and it's all these animals. So I can't, you can't really see me, but I'll show you. It was framed under glass, but it was the filthiest thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. Like it, the frame and the glass were literally covered in like I don't even know like an inch of crud I didn't even want to pick it up I didn't want to touch it at all but it was just so gorgeous that I was like okay I need to have it so like look at the little mushroom and the geese the little fox and the bear the salmon it's just too good it was too good to leave behind so I soaked it for two days I took it out of the frame threw that away um, and I soaked it for two days and it actually came out really nice and fresh and clean so now I just have to uh, frame it, but super excited about that. Um, I absolutely love forest animals pretty much more than anything in the world, so yeah. Um, okay, and that does it for the flea market. That's pretty much all I found. Um, 
excited to go back though because I know that there's gonna be a lot more stuff to find if there all the vendors were there okay so then we went to a Goodwill that was like right next to the flea market and I picked up a few little things nothing too crazy um, I asked I actually picked up some clothes I don't really thrift clothes very often because I only really want to thrift vintage i don't really want to thrift like modern stuff and vintage stuff a lot of the time just does not fit me um so it's super super hard for me to find like thrifted clothes that i like sometimes i'll pick up stuff for work um but like as far as like fun stuff that i'm really excited about it doesn't happen very often um so this flea market was kind of like in the middle of the state in the middle of nowhere so their goodwill was pretty good even though it was really small and really packed because they still had some like vintage stuff. Um, so the first thing I found was this little shirt. It's kind of wrinkled because I actually wore it. I like pulled it out of the laundry hamper to show you guys. So it's nice and wrinkled, um, but it's really cool. It's just kind of like very bohemian. Um, you can see the tag. It says Mediterranean travel to go Pompano Beach, Florida. Um, so it's pretty old tag and definitely like kind of like an old like little hippie shirt. So this is amazing. It's super comfortable and it's really flattering the way it's cut, which is also really hard to find with vintage because a lot of the time like vintage stuff is very fitting and yeah, that's not your girl. Okay. The other two things I got, I got a I picked up some little jewelry um, at Goodwill. So I got this little bangle. It's nothing too crazy. It's not Bakelite. It's just wood. Um, it's by PCD Designs, I think. I don't know, but it looked very retro. So I'll probably throw this up on my Etsy. Um, yeah. Which kind of makes me go back and think about some other stuff that I was saying before is like some of the stuff I'll end up keeping some of it I'll put on Etsy usually what happens is I buy stuff and I'm like really attached to it so I don't want to put it on Etsy right away and then I'm like over time I'm like okay like I've seen that for a while I think I'm gonna probably end up putting it on Etsy like um, the, the baking powder like I love the graphic on it it's super cool but somebody might collect tins whereas I don't collect tins so like I might throw this out as like part of my um, Thanksgiving decor but over time I might be like okay I'll probably put it on Etsy so if there is anything that's like oh like I'm all about that just let me know because I might be able to like just throw it on Etsy for you if you want it um, I'll link my Etsy down below so you can check it out I, I'm pretty lazy with it honestly I'm trying to get better um, but I, it's it's not like my number one skill <laughs> so <laughs> oh try not to throw this okay so I got these um, this necklace it looks like someone made it for sure like it's homemade style but um, I just love the blue and white um, it's ceramic and I just thought it was kind of cool and funky um, I don't know if I would wear it like this or if I would just wear it like that but I really liked it so this is another thing that like I'll probably put on Etsy but like if it doesn't sell I'll keep it I try to only buy stuff for Etsy too that like if it doesn't sell or like if it takes a long time to sell I'm totally fine with having like as my own collection so I don't buy anything for Etsy that I'm like I don't like this okay last two things I found at that Goodwill are also clothes so I got just a little vintage t-shirt um I love vintage tees so this one's just like super soft um just like a little you can see the tag definitely probably like I want to say 80s so I love vintage graphic tees whenever I can find them I pick them up and then the last thing I got let's see if I can get it without knocking everything over it's so heavy uh, oh my gosh okay I got um this big suede um fringe jacket so it's really cool it actually fits me um so it doesn't have a tag from what I can tell but it's just really 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 neat so I actually have a black one of these, but I don't have a brown one. So I was pretty excited to find it. It weighs like a bajillion pounds, but it's just really cool. So, you know, for that one day a year in Florida when I need a jacket. <sighs> okay. All right. So that was Saturday. And then um, 
Sunday, we actually ended up going to a, like an antique mall, um, about an hour away. So we, we kind of drove all over the place, which was really fun. So we went to an antique mall and there wasn't tons and tons of stuff, but we also hit an estate sale. So at the antique mall, the only thing I got was this little, um, decanter. I would say it's probably from the sixties or maybe the fifties. Um, it says fire water and then it says keeps your wig warm. Um, so definitely not really politically correct, but I just thought it was kind of funky and funny and like would be a good conversation starter. Um, I've been looking for a vintage bar cart so I can like create my own little bar in our dining room. And I just thought this would be so kitsch and cute um, on the bar cart. So I picked that up. I, I just love that. I love like all the, anything that's like from the fifties, um, the graphics, I, it's just so cool. At the estate sale, I got like a bunch of small, like little stuff, nothing like too crazy. Oh, well I got one big thing, but everything else was pretty small. So I got this little guy, he says Germany on the bottom. So I thought this would be cute for like a little curio cabinet. So I have like, um, those printers cabinets so I don't know I just thought he'd be kind of cute for that and then I got this little puppy <laughs> he's super weird um but he's like all rusty but it's just like I don't know I just thought it was like really weird like he's metal and he has an umbrella like I'm obsessed with you so he's definitely got some age to him he's pretty rusty um even though I tried to clean him he's still really dusty and just like old but Anyway, just thought both of those would be kind of cute in like a curio cabinet or like a printer's tray. So I picked up those. Whenever I go to an estate sale, it's kind of like you just pick up whatever like random small stuff that you like. So it ends up being kind of random. Like I got these little mini Easter cards. I just love the graphic of the bunny. I love bunnies so much. So I got that. Um, and then I got this little pin. But when I got it home, I noticed it has a little crack in it. So that's kind of sad, but it's still really pretty. I love that it's like hand painted. So I have a pillow where I just throw all my vintage pins. So I just thought, eh, I'll just throw it on there. It'd be pretty cute. And then the last thing I, oh, two more things. The second to last thing I got um, were some of these old um, field guides. So these are amazing. Unfortunately, they're like completely like not intact. So this one is to the trees, but these are like from like 1908, um, turn of the century. So it kind of makes sense that they're going to be like in dis complete disarray. So they're kind of going to be, this is from 1915. So they're kind of going to end up being like cutters but the graphics in them are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's just full of pictures and for it to be full of color hand-drawn pictures from 1915 is just really amazing. I have a couple of these that are not all in disarray like this, um, but these ones are gonna be kind of like more for crafting and stuff because they're just in pretty rough shape. Um, I also got one Try not to like get it everywhere, but I got one that's all old birds. But again, like the pictures are just amazing from 1915. So I don't even know. I have three of them here. I don't know what this one is. They're like in rough shape. Oh, this the last one's butterflies. So just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, they would be really nice to just like stick in a flower frog and just use as decoration. So that's probably what I'll do. Um, or to kind of use like on packages, like just to slip it um, underneath the wrapping, but they're like completely disintegrating. So it's a shame, but they are just really lovely. All right, so that's kind of that. Okay, so then my actual birthday rolled around. Oh wait, hold on, never mind, not yet. 
Not yet. <laughs> okay, so um, that was the weekend. Then my husband had to go back to work. So then I was kind of left to my own devices Monday and Tuesday. So I start, kind of like did some own, my own thrifting um, locally. So I went to a local thrift store that I absolutely love. It's my most favorite thrift store. Um, it's It used to be right next to our old house and then we moved like way farther north. So now it's pretty far away. So I don't get to go there as often. So whenever I have like, and it's always, I don't know what it is. And you guys tell me if it's just me, but I feel like I find the best stuff during the week, not the weekends. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like everything gets really picked over by the weekend. Like you can sometimes get good stuff on Saturday morning, but I just feel like the best time to go is like middle of the day on a Tuesday. Not on like the senior days, those are not good days. But otherwise, I just, I just feel like, I think it's just that they're putting stuff out and then you're getting the first pick and you don't have to wait like the whole week for people to look at stuff. So I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I always seem to find the best stuff at thrift stores like in the middle of the week which stinks because I work all week and I have weekends off. It used to be, I used to work retail and it was so fun because I like had, um, I could go like on a Thursday or on a Friday, like go to estate sales. So now like my schedule makes it a lot harder to thrift like as much, but I still try. Anyway, sorry, I'm like totally rambling. But my point is I went to my favorite thrift store. Um, it's pretty overpriced, not gonna lie, like a lot of the stuff is expensive, but you're guaranteed to find something really cute. So I found this little girl um, planter. So she, this holds like a little flower and then, so she's kind of like a vase and a planter, but I just loved her little cheeks. I thought she was so pretty um, and she's in great shape. So I just loved that about her, really excited. And then the other thing I got were these earrings. So these are Bakelite. Um, so I got these little clip-on earrings. So I think I paid like $5 for the earrings and I'm pretty sure I paid $5 for my friend. Super cute. Okay. Um, okay. Oh yes, I forgot one thing from the estate sale. Silly me. Okay, so the biggest thing I got from the estate sale was this owl. Eek! Dropping stuff over here. Okay, so um, I just thought he was so cool. Like he's ceramic and he's in amazing condition considering his age. Um, he still has his original price tag, which is kind of cool, from Jordan Marsh. Um, he was $30. So I always love to see like the old price stickers. Um, I paid $10 for him at the estate sale. He's definitely dusty. I need to dust him off. And now I need to find like a good place for him to perch. But yeah, I was super excited to nab him because I just thought he was so, so, so cool. It's cool when you find something at an estate sale because you feel like the person that owned it like really cared about it. Because at a thrift store, it's like, well, they donated it. So maybe they don't really like find value in it anymore. I know that like sometimes it's like you're donating stuff that's your family's and I get that. But I don't know. I just think at an estate sale, it's like you, somebody cared enough for this owl like to keep him for like so long and have him like in their family room and take really good care of him like he's not chipped or cracked he's like in great shape so it just kind of shows you that like somebody valued him so it's kind of fun to like bring him back to my house and like continue that feeling of like care where you're like i love this guy all right <sighs> but then then you have like added pressure you're like okay i hope i don't destroy this poor thing Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. All right, so anyway, now then um, I went to one more thrift store and I just got two things. So the first thing I got were these mugs. Um, they were $5, but then they were marked down like 20%. Um, but I just thought they were, they're all like connected, but.
but they're just like so awesome. They're, it says made in um, Japan on the bottom. And I just thought the graphics were like just phenomenal. So that was a great score, even though I don't need any more mugs. Oh my goodness, my mug collection is like something, something serious. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to like grab this picture without knocking everything else down. It's quite a challenge. Okay, so then the other thing I got at that thrift store is like quite large and in charge. <laughs> okay, not a lot of space over here. All right. So, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I like this was a big saga because it was way overpriced and I was super upset about it. Um, I ended up talking them down a lot, but I still way overpaid for it. But it's kind of like one of those things where like I just had to have it. Um, so it's mid-century. The it looks like sultans. They are painted on the fabric. And I just thought it was the coolest thing. And I, every time I look at it, it makes me so excited and so happy. So it's just kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, well, if it's making me that excited and that happy, then maybe I just need to have it. So yeah, it was definitely a splurge, um, but it was worth it. Okay. Uh, they had it marked for, they wanted a hundred and... I also live in Florida, and Florida is ridiculous with their prices, especially South Florida. Um, but anyway, they had it marked at 130, and they ended up selling it to me for 70. So, like, I guess I saved like a good amount of money. I was like, it's my birthday. It literally was my birthday. I'm like, I'll show you my license, please. Like, give me a deal. I love it. Um, so they didn't really give me that good of a deal. I was hoping to get it for like 50 bucks. Even that, I felt like was high. Um, but you know what? It's like one of my most prized possessions. Like, I don't know why it just speaks to me. I just love it. So sometimes like there's things like that. I try to be thrifty. I'm not like the thriftiest thrifter. I need to get better at it. Definitely. Okay. So then, um, Tuesday was my actual birthday. So then like I made my husband wait until like my actual birthday to give me my presents, um, just to make it like a little more meaningful. So he got me a couple of things. Um, the first thing was kind of just like a little small gift. Um, so he got me this owl print, um, from 1908. So I just have it in a little flower frog and I just, I love them. They're just so goofy looking. So I have that in my hutch my china hutch um in our dining room so that was really cool and then the other thing he the bigger thing he got me was this amazing necklace um so it's sterling silver it's mexican um but i just love the bear and i just love like the graphics on it so it's really cool it's like a pretty substantial piece um but i i like that i like kind of like heavy big jewelry so this was something that I'll treasure. Um, so I'm really, really excited about it. And then the last thing he got me is another picture. So I'll try not to knock everything over on the other side. The struggle is real, guys. Oh my gosh. This is going to be like an hour long video. Okay. All right. So this one is framed under, under wow. Okay. First thing, I can't talk. Second thing, let's turn it the right way okay so my ring light is definitely like gonna blind you so i apologize um this guy is framed under glass and it's framed in a metal frame so it is extremely heavy um but it's just like super quirky and mid-century um my husband said that was a boy i kind of feel like it looks like a girl with her hair pulled back but i don't know Let me try and bring this closer so you guys can see it. But um, there's like a cow, there's 
a bunch of bunnies. There's like a raven. I just really loved it. I loved all the animals. I loved the black cat. I loved like the mid-century vibe to it. Um, it's just really special. So I'm not sure where it's going to go yet, but it is just something that I absolutely loved. So thank you. Happy birthday to Ma. Okay. Okay, all right, so that pretty much ends it for my birthday. Um, so that was a couple weekends ago, but of course I went thrifting last weekend because, you know, your girl, I pretty much go thrifting every weekend. Um, so my last weekend I went to an estate sale and um, I actually got this Broyhill piece and another one that's in our bedroom. So that's super, super exciting. So. That was like my big find at the estate sale. But of course, I got a couple little things, nothing too crazy. Um, I got this bracelet. So I just loved all the detail. It even has like, it's not sterling, but it's so much detail. It looks like it might probably have been made in India. Oh, it doesn't really want to focus, but I even like that it has a chain. It's just really cool. So I got that, and then I got this little mid-century horse. Um, they had so much mid-century modern, but her prices were pretty high. This guy was fair, I think he was $10, um, but a lot of her stuff she wanted like full Etsy like retail. So sadly, I just got this guy, but I love this green. This is like my favorite green in the whole world. So I'm super excited to have him. Okay. Um, and then the last thing I got one more picture um, at that estate sale. So this one's pretty long. Um, and I just loved, it's just kind of like a, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it in this frame, if I'm gonna keep it framed like this, but I just kind of loved like the masculine like intense vibes um, of the animals. So that it's a bear, a buffalo. It's just really cool. So I just thought that was really, really cool. I guess it was like in her brother's room growing up. So, and she was like an old, an old lady. So it's kind of cool to like, have a piece that is definitely quite old. All right, let me try not to destroy everything. I have quite the mess going on over here. Okay, almost done. Um, I went to Goodwill a couple days ago, Friday, Thursday, something like that. Um, so I got Garfield. I'll probably end up putting him on Etsy, but I just like, I don't know, he just like, I don't usually buy stuffed animals. I literally have zero stuffed animals other than Garfield. But there's just something about him that just like made me so excited. He's from 1981. Um, he's got like the super old tag. He sits up. I loved his plastic eyes. I just thought he was super cute. So I don't know. I must have been in a crazy mood that day, but I just really, really like him. Um, the other thing I got, I'll try not to blind you. But this is um, this vanity mirror. I love the birds on it. I just thought it was so pretty. Um, and it's like in perfect condition. So I actually have another vanity mirror, but I broke it when we moved. Um, I didn't break the mirror part. I broke the metal, so I still use it. But I love that this is completely intact. And I love the birds because birds are amazing. So, yes. Um, then I got this little brass guy so I don't pick up brass too too much um but I found three of these and it comes off and then you put like a candle in it so I just thought this was really cool for Christmas um just to kind of set them around and maybe like put like some fake candles in them or maybe if I'm feeling real crazy I'll put some real candles in them but I don't know I just thought it was really nice and then I got this little luster um, witch. So 
I don't know about her age. There's no marking on the bottom except for the price. So I'm not really sure if she's like actually vintage or not, but she is very lustery. And I collect vintage Halloween, so I just picked her up because I thought she was just kind of spooky and kind of weird. So I'll throw her in the Halloween box. Okay. Um, yesterday, I just ran to a couple little thrifts. I didn't get anything too big or too crazy. Um, one thrift store had, ooh, had hardback books um, for $2 or $2.50, I think, maybe $2.50. Oh my goodness, I can't pick them up. Had hardback books for $2.50, so I picked up three. Um, the first one I just thought was so cool because it has like the Zodiac um, and it's a Gardener's Almanac. It's from the 70s and it's like full of the weirdest drawings. Like, I just love the 70s, they're so weird. Like, it's full of like these weird little elves. So, I picked this up for um, to put on Etsy because I figured someone's gonna be like obsessed with it. It's also a really nice green color. So um, I like to sometimes decorate with green books, just like all different shades of green. So I know other people might like doing that. So this is just a really nice little book. Um, a lot of like multi-purpose. The next one I got, to be honest, I literally just got it because of the cover, but it was just so good. So um, it's called A Portion of Foxes. And it's all about foxes, I think. I don't even know. Oh, and then the like, last one might end up having to be a cutter. We'll see. Um, it's got this crazy monkey on the front. It's from 1948. Um, I collect nature books. I especially love nature books. Like, well, pretty much all the nature books I collect. I try to find ones that have um, drawings in them. So this one's actually really nice because it's full of animal drawings but the problem is it's in really rough shape so like I say that as like a page falls out <laughs> yeah um so you can kind of tell it's got some like it looks like mold like it's it's not in great shape but the pictures are so cool so I picked it up um I don't know what I'm gonna do with it like hoarder life over here um, the other two things I got were, I got this little um, Santa and Mrs. Claus um, salt and pepper shakers. So I just thought these were super sweet. Um, they actually came in the ori their original box, which is pretty cool. Um, so again, like I'll just put these away until Christmas, but they are marked Japan on the bottom. So they are definitely vintage. And then the last thing I got is this little Zuni um, pin. Maybe I'll keep them in his box. It's really not wanting to focus, but um, he's pretty cool. He's got all these inlaid stones. He's very small. Um, I might put him up on Etsy. I haven't really decided. Or I might just like throw him on my jacket or a sweater. It's really cute. All right, guys. Like, we made it. It's 35 minutes through. This was a crazy long video. If you made it through all 35 minutes, thank you. You're amazing. I appreciate you. Um, and stick around because I'm going to have more hauls and more thrift adventures.